This is the show that I'm on, starring Micah Gordon, with special guest Stamford Dearmark, and now the host of our show, Micah Gordon. Hey. This is the show I'm on. There's a lot of shows that I'm not Hey guys. On. I like that interesting resolution. You like that? Yeah, yeah. It, left, it, it left us guessing. Yeah. Uh, hey, this is the show that I'm on. It's a show that I'm on. Uh, Dustin Loomis is also on it. Uh, give him a hand. Um, the, uh, the way the show works is uh, we have a bunch of writers that are sitting here in our audience that helped, uh, that wrote the show 10 minutes ago. The whole show is written 10 minutes prior to right now, and now I'm going to do the show for you, the internet. All right, let's get right into it. Uh, Courtney Love, remember her? Yeah. yeah, she's fun. Uh, she, uh, she, Courtney Love wrote a message to Kurt Cobain on Instagram yesterday. Uh, this was after she got a rejection from Dave Grohl on LinkedIn. Uh, she then posted a vine of herself cutting her wrists. Oh. Very morbid. Very, very morbid. Uh, <laughs> you guys think she did it? Or? No. Con consensus is no, she did not do it. Great. Uh, U.S. Women's National Soccer Team player, Alex Morgan, she's awesome, uh, she criticized the National Women's Soccer League uh, for putting her team up in, Kansas, in a Kansas City hotel infested with bed bugs. That's gross. Uh, she was quoted as saying, it's not the bed bugs, but Kansas City, come on. <laughs> yeah, Kansas City's gross. The bed bugs are fine. Uh, let's show our women some respect, you guys. Fucking Kansas City, like, don't make them go there. <laughs> It's a bad place. Sorry, Kansas City, I've, I've never been to you. Uh, a Kentucky woman, uh, she faces second degree burglary charges after she uh, alerted the fire department that the stove was on in the house that she was burgling, which is a crazy thing to do. Uh, this was after she also notified the, uh, the police that the person she just murdered had the flu. <laughs> so, great. That's it for the monologue. <laughs> Uh, now it's time for our next segment. Then, oh, first walk me to the desk. Yeah, here it is. Ooh, love it. Mm. Get that cord over there. All right. Now our next segment, my favorite things. Give me a theme song. What theme song? All right. Uh... Michael's favorite things. He likes a lot of things. All right, that's one of my favorite things, that song. It's great. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna go down a list of some of my new favorite things for the week. Uh, I know you guys are constantly asking me like, what, what are your favorite things, Micah? Because I'm kind of a tastemaker and uh, uh, my opinion is very respected in the community. Um, so I thought I'd just give you a little rundown. Oprah does this, I do this, it's kind of just a thing we share. Um, okay, uh, new favorite thing, sunglasses, right? Who doesn't love them? Uh, because I get to look at anything or anyone that I want to while walking down the sidewalk and I don't look like a creep. It's great. Uh, this, this one is just a drawing of a, some kind of fuzzy animal and it says, hi Micah. <laughs> that is one of my favorite things from this week. It's a great thing. Um, this, this, this actual, this drawing uh, has been like kind of spreading around. Um, real life, you know like how internet memes, like this is a real life meme that just like people are drawing this and it's, it's really catching on, and it always says, hi, Micah. It's really cute. One of my favorite things. Uh, Burning Man. That is my absolute favorite thing from this week uh, because uh, thousands of people in the desert are at a festival infested with huge biting bugs. Uh, the bugs are my favorite thing about Burning Man because I hate the people there. <laughs> <laughs> that was less of a joke and more of just like a serious thing that we all feel. <laughs> all right. That's, that's a good joke. <laughs> okay. But seriously, I said that was my favorite thing, but this is absolutely my favorite thing. Speakeasies, right? They're dark, you can't see anyone, you need a password to get in, they have great cocktails. I like, I like something with a splash of absinthe in it, just give you a little anisey kind of aftertone. Love it. Uh, I've never been to a speakeasy. Can someone get me in? <laughs> uh, does anyone know the password? It's one of my favorite things and I've, I can't go. Do you know, if, do you know? What it is? I've never been to a speakeasy, no. I'm not that cool. Shit. Yeah. 
I mean, I could I could just go and try a bunch of things like we sofa. Just, like, stand, we just stand outside and like ask people for the password. Yeah, but I feel like that's kind of hey mystering, you know. I haven't done that since college. Yeah, it's true. Like, hey, can you buy me beer? Yeah. Can you give me a speakeasy? Yeah. I don't have any friends. <laughs> but we'll be there together. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right, let's bring out our, our first and only guest. What do you guys say about that? Yeah. All right, uh, this guy, I'm so excited to have him. Uh, he's an amazing dude. His name, Stamford Deermark. Hey, buddy. Hey. Stamford, hey. thanks for coming. Sir? Meet Dustin. Sir? Stanford. Great job. Great, Great tunes for you. Thank you. Yeah, you get your own Great mic. Great tunes. Great tunage. Yeah, Stanford Deer Mark. I, I pronounced that correctly, right? You did. Okay. Uh, how's it going? It's going. It's going great, man. Yeah. You yeah. having a good a good year? I'm having a blast. There's snacks back there. Yeah. We so treat got, our guests right. There's a banana. I had a banana. There's one single banana. <laughs> I had. You one. ate it? Yeah. All right, that's fine. You're the guest. <laughs> yeah, doing great. So what have you uh, been up to this year? I know you've been up to some really big, big, exciting R- things. Big things for yeah. Stanford. Um, well, as you know, my skateboard shop, Skate and Skate. Right, it hit in, national yeah. national acclaim. Skate and Skate, we sell skateboards and skate. And that's so it's like a fish market, half mm. fish market, half skateboard shop. And that's in up in Eugene. It's in Eugene, Eugene, Oregon. Yeah, uh, I, I visited the last time I was in Eugene. I visited the shop. It is a, you guys have to go to Skate and Skate. Yeah, it's a beautiful, cool, beautiful man. shop. Um, sorry. Did you use that a phone on. call? It's just my timer for my for my car, but I'll be okay. It'll be okay. You know. In Eugene, no one has cars. Really? That's no. the true thing about Eugene? Yeah, no one has cars. You know what they have? What? Skateboards. Oh my gosh, and you give them to them. At Deermark Skate and Skate. That's how you got so yeah. big. Yeah, and we're giving out skateboards to like celebrities. That was, that was the, the mm. trick. We're giving out skateboards to... Yeah, Topher Grace, I heard, got Topher one. Topher Grace. Uh, Topher Grace is an excellent skateboarder. I've or, heard sorry, that. Of- sorry, skater. I mean... Skate. Skatesker, skatester. Skatester. That's how I've heard. That's right? how they call him on the street. So people at home, a skatester, if you hear it, that just means skateboarder. Yeah. So. Uh, so that's someone that skates. Great. Right. Yeah. Topher Grace. Topher Grace. Um. um you, uh. You also had Muriel Hemingway, right? Muriel. Muriel's a. Uh, can I swear here? Yeah. Swear that all the oh, fuck you want. She's a rad chick, man. <laughs> <laughs> she's a rad, rad chick. All right. I. That's a little too too far, I think, for our audience. Oh, sorry. Yeah, but she's no, she's a great she's a great lady. She's a great great lady. Um, and she's she, a skatester. She's a skatester. I saw her uh-huh. do a half pipe trick. Really? And then like she cruised by and gave me like one of these sick high high fivers. Oh, high fiver. That's what <laughs> skatesters call high fives. Skatesters call high fives. Cool. That's yeah. awesome. And of course, let's not forget about the fish market. I mean, we also sell right. uh, skate, which is a nice, easy type of white fish. It kind of goes with anything. It and literally it, goes with It anything. really soaks up the flavor that you put yeah, on Eugenie's it. Eugenie's having a resurgence in sort of fish market and, and, and fish <laughs> I heard food that, yeah. expansion. So we kind of, it was like, all right. I mean, I started the business back in like 2001. And I was like, all right, well, skateboards are coming back in a big, big way. And then around 2006, someone was like, hey, Stanford, you know what else is coming back? Fish. And I was like... You're it's right. just a light bulb went off. And then they were like, and I didn't know this, that there is a fish called skate. And I was like, well, that's just easy. That's, that's just why you did it, because it was yeah. easy. Oh, okay. Now, so, you're, yeah. you're doing, you're doing a, a big event in the coming uh, next big, month, big. like a big water slide, sk- right? It was uh, something about big a water slide, water slide skate, skate, water slide extravaganza. Skate. Is, that, is that the name yeah, of it? it's called Splish Splash Skate, Skate and Date. So you're great you have, at names. I got to say, thanks. you have really catchy titles. Thank you. I mean, well, it's just, you know, when you got a name like Stanford Deermark, yeah. I mean. You have to think about it. Your you're name known for, for great names. Yes. So it's like that's sort so of. So the Splish sort of, Splash. Splish Splash Skate and Date. Bring a date. Bring a date. Eat some skate. That's not in the title. Okay. I thought I'd give you a I'll pitch. I'll do the title. All right. Okay. Maybe next. Maybe for next year. Okay. Yeah. And that happens so it's, when? It's uh, a, it's, it happens uh, April 17th, 2018. So, uh, so it's a little ways well, away. we're building the water park. Okay. Oh, you have, you have to build the whole water, water park. Yeah, we're building the whole water park. Okay. And, and this so is in Eugene. It's in Eugene. And Eugene everyone's Oregon. invited, though. Everyone is invited. Uh, there, there is a password, though. So if you don't have the password, you can't get it. Well, I, I, uh, I come across this problem all the time. Can oh. you give out the password? or? Well, that would defeat the purpose. So how do you get it? Well, there's in a date is in the title, so you, you just have to be, if you don't get a password, just be someone's date who has the password. Okay, but how does that person get the password? Well, I'll let them know. <laughs> so you, so you yeah, have to so personally... Yeah, can come, but I'll let them know what the password is, but if you don't get one, 
Great. Then find someone who has it. All right, so go out to the Splish Splash Skate and Skate Water Park Extravaganza. No, Splish Splash Skate, bring a date. Bring a date. Skate and date. Skate and date. Bring a date. Eat some skate. Eat some skate. April 17th, 2018. 2018. Eugene, Oregon. Stanford, dear Mark, give him a hand. That is it for our show. Thank you so much, Stanford. Thanks, Dustin. Uh, tweet at Dan Harmon. We're going to have him on the show next week, he's but coming, you have to tweet to, uh, at him and ask him because I'm not going to do it. He's coming to Splish Splash. He's coming to Splish Splash. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he definitely has a passport. Oh, I'm going to ask Dan. We'll, we'll get him on the show. Get Dan on. He'll give you Yeah, a at Dan Harmon. Get him on the show. And uh, thanks so much. Take us out.